Imagine a software where you can collect all your customer information in one place. This right here is UChat, who claims to be a one-stop AI customer chatbot. I wanted to put it to the test, so let's check it out. So this is the UChat platform, and as you can see, it is a big platform with a lot of different bots. So I will go through the primary functionality and show you. First thing is the dashboard, which is always just a quick overview. And then up here we have the live chat, which is basically you using the inbox to chat with whoever surpassed your AI chatbot that you had set up. So going back to the dashboard, we have our omni channel here where you can basically collect all communication into you chat, but you cannot connect your email communication. And that is the one flaw I see with you chat. But if we just go right down to our bots, then I've already now set up one bot. And this is just a very simple bot with a flow that I will show you. So in here we have a published version of a flow that I have just used a template for. If we zoom in, you can see that the first step is where they get a welcome, where it says, hello, the first name, welcome. And that is because if we go back up here, you can see that the first is just the start and then it's asking for a welcome, basically very simple. Then you can try out some features here where you can send an image, send location, ask for email or talk to an agent. And if they press talk to an agent, then it is that we get it and we have to chat with this specific person. You can see down here we have all of the different selections and then we have some more settings over here that we can change and do how we would like. But you can see all of these different settings have a line from them and that is because they go to different endpoints depending on what they're choosing. So for instance, if I choose talk to agent, then I will basically just be shown talk to agent as you can see here and it will set the persona Alice. The next step would then be that they would send a message and this is again the chatbot. Hi, I'm Alice. How may I help you in this case? That is just a very simple flow. If I just zoom out a little bit here, the next flow, ask for email. So if I go up here, then you can see it is very simple, just asking for an email. Again, send location, very simple, sending location. And the last one is just sending an image. And that is because this is just an example on a very simple chatbot. You can see that we also have the button features here. And the button features go down to have even more buttons. And if I click on the normal button, it will basically just write, you press the button but I can also open a website or I can call this specific person. So this is how you work with the flow builder and you can change and add as much as you like. So you can see that this one here goes to talk to agent. I could also move it to point at a different thing, but here you can see again, talk to agent. We have some settings we can work with and what message should be sent because this is the next step as you saw just before. So this is the flow builder working with. We can also go to the flows here where we can create subflows. So if your flow needs to, maybe you want to have it more organized, then you can create a subflow. So whenever they press something in your main flow, then they are redirected to a subflow. That is a very simple way of setting it up so you have an overview. We can also see analytics of this specific chatbot where we can see how many messages has been sent, received, we can see the language and we can see some information about who are in this chatbot using it. We also have the live chat view, which you saw just before as well. We have bot users here, which is basically the users using this specific bot. And then we have automation as well. So we can set up some default reply. We can set up keywords as well. So if there is a specific keyword mentioned, then we can add different variations that the bot can then reply with. So let's say that you're a SaaS company and every time you see the word churn being mentioned or I want to quit my subscription, then you can send specific messages or you can do something specific with the person who is in this chatbot right now. Again, another great feature. There's also content down here where we are asking for a phone number. We have the date and the date time. And this is the user fields. Then we also have bot fields, we have tags, personas, and even message templates. So the personas, as you saw before, we have Alice, and Alice was also part of the flow builder 
where Alice was basically the one talking as the robot. But here you can set up all the different content that you want. You can also set up customer feedback toppings and much more. Then we have tools here as well where we can see some error logs. We can see if anyone is testing. We can set up multiple languages, set up widgets, inbound webhooks and much more. But what I want to show you is broadcasts. Because within broadcasts we can set up messages to be sent. So let's just add the name new broadcast and we will say that if the person has the tag talk to agent then we will do something. So the condition right now is that whenever someone has the tag talk to agent then we will choose a subflow and this subflow could be to send them a message. It could be to ask them a specific question based on what they have written or something even third. You can also create a new workflow here. This is just another way to personalize this experience even more on your website. You can see also here we can send the message immediately or we can schedule it for later. So if you want it to be a little bit more humanized, then you can send the message maybe two or three minutes later or even some hours later. But that is how you set up broadcasts. The last part is just settings where you can set user limits. You can set some order cleanup so you get some clean data after some days. And here you can see that the channel which has been set up with this specific chatbot. So with these chatbot, you can see you have a lot of great functionality that you can use. And you can always set up a new chatbot via all of these templates here. So you can see there is a template for a coffee shop template. There is for rock, paper, scissor game template. Very fun, but it's just a small game you can use. There are also some Google beginner template and you can see that there are multiple pages here that you can use and set up these different templates. And all of these are free to use so you can just take them and then use them. There are especially a lot of great ones if you have a web shop or e-commerce site then they are already pre-made and that is just down in the template store. We also have integrations and you can see here how long the list is. We have so many great integrations and we do also have an SMTP profile. So SMTP is for sending out emails. Again, I wish they had an IMAP functionality here so we could set up our email to really collect all of the communication. But already now when I'm seeing the phone numbers, Stripe, Slack even, there are so many great integrations and UChat is the AI chatbot within this industry that has the most amount of integrations. So if you're looking for integrations or just a way to integrate UChat into your already current flow, then UChat is a great option because you can always just use Zapier and then via Zapier integrate to whatever it is you want because Zapier is really the bridge between UChat and whatever chat or ever app that you're using. You can also set up mini apps. A mini app can be something like Bitly, it can be a WooCommerce integration, integration to InCharge even, which I'm personally using. And you can see as I scroll down here, there are a lot of great ones you can use and there are even multiple pages. And you can also set up Google Analytics event tracking. So this is a great way for you to add another layer. Not even do we have integrations, we also have these mini apps that we can use to improve our data, our scalability of our businesses, to use UChat to really just utilize all of the data there is to know everything about our users, especially through this integration to Google Analytics. And as I said before, if you have an e-commerce shop, you can also here add all of your products. So you can use those in your chat flow builder to suggest products based on what they're asking for. It would be great here to have a functionality to import or you can always set up one of those integrations in the mini app to pull in the product so your product database in UChat is always updated with your newest products. But this is a great way to use in the flow builder so you can suggest products based on what the user is asking for. The last piece is basically just content. But again here you need to create first a mini app before you can create content. And up here we basically just have the bot templates, the mini apps and the email templates as well. So overall you can see that UChat has a ton of functionality and it's really important you figure out what you need from UChat and only set up what you need because you can set up endless different flows and chats but if they're not used then it's a little bit of a waste. But I will definitely from my point of view recommend UChat if you're looking for a chatbot 
that needs to integrate with almost anything. The main price of UChat is higher than the competition and it is mainly because they have more integrations. It is overall just a bigger system but you can start completely free as did I when I tested out UChat and then later on you can upgrade and at the moment they're actually running a promo where you can upgrade for even less than what they're asking but just be aware that it is only for one chatbot. So if you want to run Facebook, Instagram, Google My Business, that is three chatbots and every extra chatbot costs five US dollars. So just be aware of that. The two alternatives to UChat as I see it is ManyChat and ChatFuel. But both of these are actually behind UChat. UChat has more integration, a bigger system and the flow builder as you just saw in the walkthrough is just so much bigger and has more possibilities. So UChat is the number one choice in this industry of AI chatbots. So it's really interesting and especially when we discuss the future just in a moment. Now to the future of UChat. First off, they're building integrations to FreshChat and Intercom. For me, this is really interesting because that is derouting a little bit away from them building their own live chat. So as you also saw in the walkthrough, they do have an inbox functionality and this allows the users of UChat to use UChat as a live chat. But these integrations show that UChat is going a different direction. So it will be interesting to see how they will actually solve that issue. Furthermore, then they're adding a web view which makes it possible to ask questions, show buttons and much more in the web view itself of the chatbot. And then last but not least, they're doing a lot of minor changes, fixes and overall improvements of UChat so it will be faster to use, easier to use and we will hopefully convert more visitors into customers. Now after using UChat, I'm a big fan of the amount of integrations they have the flow builder itself and the functionality of doing broadcasts. One thing I do not like about UChat is the missing IMAP integration. That would really take them to the next level. Chat platforms are evolving more and more each year and with AI being integrated then we can offer even better customer service. I'm really impressed by UChat and I want to give them four and a half stars. If they just had the IMAP integration, then they would be a perfect place to collect all of our communication. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.